morning and hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are in the Medeka village on the coast of Georgetown and we are visiting this waterfront temple. The name of this temple is Hian Bu Tian. But before I go any further, let me first give you our location coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or ways to be navigated through the labyrinth of lanes to reach the front entrance of this temple. The Hian Bu Tian Temple is open daily from 9am to 2pm and from 4pm to 6pm. I have a video that shows the way to this temple. I will put the link in the description. The temple is located on the Georgetown waterfront. From here, you can get a good view of the clan jetties. There are pavilions like this one where visitors can relax and enjoy the sea breeze. From here, we can see the clan jetties on our left and the Penang Harbour on our right. It is presently low tide and you can see the waves rippling in. For those of you who want to know more about the clan jetties, I also have a video about it and I'll put the link in the description. The sea is so shallow that we can see dogs walking on the shore. And beyond the clan jetties is the city of Georgetown itself. On this side, we see the temple. It is a two-story building with prayer halls on the ground and upper floor. There is an archway that juts into the sea and flanked on either sides with lotus ponds. It's without a doubt, the temple was designed to take full advantage of its picturesque waterfront location. There is a pair of prancing dragons facing the arch which is called the Dragon Gate or Leong Mui. We are now right above the sea. Some would call this a floating temple, but in fact it is standing on concrete stilts. Here we see the Dragon Gate in the foreground and the Hian Bu Tian Gate behind it. To our left is a pillar called the High Lantern Dragon Column. The opening of this temple was officiated by the Right Honourable Lim Guan Ying, who was then the Chief Minister of Penang on 2nd December 2012. However, the temple dates back much earlier. It was established in 1972 and back then it was just a humble shrine perched over the sea. As I mentioned earlier, the present temple has two levels. On the lower level is the central sanctuary with the main prayer hall. In front of the sanctuary is a porch supported by four dragon pillars and in the middle is the altar to the Jade Emperor. The front facade of the central sanctuary is granite ornately embellished with bar relief. We pass through the temple kitchen to go up to the first floor. And here we are on the first floor. On this side are granite statues of Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy, in different postures. Lined up in a row with their backs towards the sea are sculptures depicting the 24 tales of Philopeite. Okay. 
and on this side is another pavilion with Guan Yin statues. Lining the circumference wall are Tibetan style prayer wheels. From here, we can see the Madeka village, one of the largest urban villages in Penang, with some of its houses semi waterborne. Over here is the upper floor shrine. This is the shrine of the Goddess of Mercy. The principal image in this shrine is the South Sea Bodhisattva Kuan Yin. The Merdeka village in the foreground is contiguous to the clan jetties in the back. Together, they form a continuous urban village along the waterfront of Georgetown. Although the Merdeka village was only created in more recent decades, people have been living in semi-amphibious villages on this stretch of coast for a hundred years. Across the sea from the temple is Yo Jetty, one of the still existing clan jetties of Georgetown. Watch my video on the clan jetties to explore them with me. So that's the wrap for this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to bringing you another place explainer video soon. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.